Let's get to Mario Singh, though. He joins us from FX1 Academy over in Singapore. Mario, thank you very much for coming to talk to us today. Um, what's on your agenda? There's so much data. There's an FOMC meeting. What do you think the key thing is to watch this week? Well, the, the main theme that is uh, generally riding throughout the whole Forex markets has really been risk aversion. So that's the central theme that's been happening out throughout the whole FX markets. We saw last week there was a slew of data coming up and uh, really the political news have really trumped all the fundamental news. We saw Obama's stance on proprietary trading. No doubt that's a proposal now. Um, we see China tightening monetary policies. So my, uh, my short take is that it's going to see uh, a continuation of risk aversion. We're going to see the, uh, the US dollar gaining some strength this whole week. Mario, if Bernanke is reappointed for a second term as uh, chairman of the Federal Reserve, is that going to give currency markets more appetite to take on more risk? The, well, investors worldwide, rather say traders, as a trader myself, we see there's a lot of push and shove uh, uh, talking about Bernanke's reappointment for his second election. But uh, once all the dust settles, we do see that Bernanke will hold on uh, for a second term, although much of his criticism is that he didn't react fast enough uh, to, to possibly prevent a financial meltdown. So we don't see a lot of volatility happening once the reappointment starts. It could be possibly as early as this week. But uh, traders are pricing in the expectation that he would be um, claiming his second term. If we get, uh, Mario, if we get uh, good GDP data out this week, are you expecting to see a jump into riskier trades? Yes, I would, because what's coming up in, uh, in Australia next week would be the RBA um, cash rate statement. Now, traders around the world are pricing in about a 65% chance that they're going to hike their rates for four consecutive times. So traders worldwide, well, including myself, I'm in that category, they're going to see that the RBA is going to raise rates to 4%. So the carry trade is going to start winding up again. Um, we're going to see uh, riskier assets. People are going to be plowing to riskier assets. So even my take, when we see the Aussie dollar right now, about I think it's at 90.50, even if it dips slightly below because of the risk aversion, for me that would be a buying opportunity to get into the market once again. Mario, back to the US dollar. How exactly would you position in the greenback this week ahead of the FOMC? Is there a risk that they may possibly sketch out or suggest an exit strategy, especially in the outlook statement and the wording of that statement? Well, quite um, in this whole week when the FOMC starts their two-day meeting, they have got tons of problems on uh, to, to really kind of like work through. They've got like the unemployment rates that's sky high. So I don't see them having an, exec, uh, an exit strategy, um, especially where interest rates are concerned. They are more interested in the monetary policies, the fiscal policies that they're going to be effecting throughout the US dollar. But it's going to be anybody's game. So what we're watching right now, at least the central theme for this week, is still going to be risk aversion. Um, traders are going to see volatility this week, which is going to be pretty exciting for traders worldwide. Mario, just briefly, where do we go on euro dollar? Are you still worried about uh, Greece and debt levels? Well, Greece is a lingering problem the last few months. We see the, uh, the euro from, I think last month was at 151. We saw a plunge of over 1,000 pips in just one month. So it's still in a firm downtrend. Um, looking at the euro dollar, once we see it break about 142.50, then that will be a good place for us to start initiating certain buy positions. But for now, at least for the next one to two weeks, we still see euro dollar in a firm downtrend. We see it support about 140. We see um, a small resistance, about 142. So if it's going to break 142 to head up to what's 143, then we could start seeing um, the risk aversion place coming into the market once again. All right, Mario, thanks a lot for dropping by. Have Thank a great you. week. Thank Mario Singh there, co-founder and CEO of FX1 Academy.